upon 3 raised to the power 3 multiplied minus 6 upon 7 raised to the power 2 multiplied minus 7 upon 4 multiplied 3 upon 2. So this is the multiplication of fractions. So before we solve this question, let us understand multiplication of fractions, how it is done. So if you have 15 upon 32 multiplied to 16 upon 90, what we normally do, we multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators and then write the result. This is what we do. However, when there are numbers this big or even smaller numbers also, rather than multiplying them, we divide them here only. Because in the final result also, when you write here numerator and denominator, you have to divide the numerator by the denominator. So, instead of multiplying the numbers and writing the big numbers and then dividing, what we do, we divide here only. So, you can see that 15 and 90 both are divisible by 5 or you can say 90 is divisible by 15. So, we can simply strike it like this and write 15 times 6 is 90. Here also you can see that 16 and 32 both are divisible by 8 or 32 is divisible by 16 because 16 times 2 is 32. So we write it like this 16 times 1 is 16 and 16 times 2 is 32. Here also you can write 1. Now what you have? Now you can multiply easier. Now 1 times 1 is 1 and 6 times 2 is 12. So this way you can do the multiplication of fractions rather than big results and, and dividing later on you divide here only and then write the result. We understood this part. Let's do one more example such as if you have 4 upon 5 multiplied to 6 upon 8 what you can do? We can divide here only 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8 and 2 times 3 is 6 and we can write 3 upon 5. If you would have multiplied then 6 times 4 is 24 and 8 times 5 is 40. Then you reduce this fraction. 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 10 is 40 and then again divide it by 2. Result is same. So instead of doing this, we have done division here only. So this is how multiplication of fractions is done. Now let's solve this question. Here in this question, we have exponents also. So it is a question of order of operations. In order of operations, we follow certain order in order to conduct different operations such as multiplication, division, exponents. So to remember that, we follow a mnemonic called BODMAS. B stands for bracket, O is for order, exponents, D is for division, M for multiplication, A for addition and S for subtraction. The same mnemonic PEMDAS, it stands for the same thing. P for parenthesis which means bracket, E is for exponent, M is for multiplication, D is for division, A for addition and S for subtraction. Division multiplication and addition subtraction they are grouped together. So do not get confused what to do first because in PEMDAS you can see we have multiplication and then division. We solve them from left to right. Based on this order of operations we have to solve first exponent then we will do the multiplication. So let us solve this question. So 2 upon 3 raised to the power 3 means 2 times 2 times 2 upon 3 times 3 times 3 multiplied minus 6 upon 7 raised to the power 2 is minus 6 times minus 6 and 7 times 7 multiplied to minus 7 upon 4 multiplied to 3 upon 2. Now here you can see that minus 6 is multiplied twice and minus multiplied to minus gives a positive result. So this is 8 upon 27 times 6 times 6 is 36 and minus multiplied to minus will be plus. So you can remove the minus sign here. 36 upon 49 minus 7 upon 4 multiplied to 3 upon 2. If you are getting confused, you can draw a single bar. You can write it like this 8 into 36 multiplied minus 7 multiplied 3 upon 27 into 49 into 4 into 2. Now start dividing 7 times 7 is 49 and this is 7 times minus 1 will be minus 7. 4 times 
9 is 36, 2 times 4 is 8 and 3 times 9 is 27 and this 9 and this 9 will be cancelled. So answer will be 4 multiplied to minus 1 minus 4 and upon 7. So this is your answer. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.